Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of Symphogear Access. Uh, you know what? Honestly, I don't even know what to say about this. Can I just say, number one, this went by really, really quickly. I mean, we're on the second to last season about to be on the finale, and I'm just like, damn, where the fuck did the time go? I mean, it went by way too fast. I mean... Uh, I think at the same time when I was doing reactions, like, YouTube was slowly, well, no, Crunchyroll was uploading episodes to YouTube, and, yeah, oh, God. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 in 3, 2, 1, go. We'll talk about that elephant in the room towards the end of the episode, probably after the last one. He's finally going to be useful. I mean, after how many episodes? I, I mean, Jesus. Like, I, I really thought Tiki was going to be useful in the beginning. But, I mean, Tiki was, like, just chilling the whole entire time, right? And now in the last three fucking episodes, she's finally going to be useful. Finally getting something instead of sitting around with this douche. This fucker better die, too, because, like, I mean, y'all been hearing it for the past few weeks. I want this motherfucker to die. I mean, Jesus, like, God forgive me, but, I mean, God, he need to fucking go. I mean, Jesus, like, I don't want to start this next last season and then find out he there. I don't want to see it. I don't want to know anything. I just want him to go. It is his time to go. I don't, don't, don't be, like, any, like, Sailor Moon character. Specifically, villain. It's a. I think it's like what? Yeah, it was the last villain before stars. She came back, and I was like, "Why the hell is this bitch back?" Like, no, you supposed to die and stay dead and never freaking come back. Now, like, if the last season, oh God forbid, if they do this, if they decide to bring every villain back from this season to season one, I mean, number one, that would be really good because I think it would be interesting. Or they're just going to have some, like, OP villain who is way, way, way powerful than, like, any other villain we've currently faced in this damn series. Honestly, it's one of the two. It could be someone from, like, Hibiki's past, maybe? I mean, if that happens. <laughs> uh, that's a big old oop. But I don't think that's going to happen. It could be coming back early. I'm just scared. Fucking mouth hurt. Don't eat hot pizza straight out of the oven. Okay? Don't do that. <laughs> You'll burn the roof of your mouth and you're just like, ah! <laughs> okay, thank God. Yeah, but can we establish that plan right now and get it, you know, to kill Tiki and then we get a boy Adam? I also feel like she's going to die too. I mean, I don't like saying it, but it's just something in my heart. It's just telling me, like, she ain't coming back. You know who he reminds me of? He reminds me of, and I hate this character too so much, and I'm so happy he's dead too. Fucking kid! <laughs> oh my god! 
Kira and his bitches. It's Shinzi. Let's not forget Shinzi. The two characters who I can't fucking stand his feet. And it's worse that I found out, like, fucking Agarai can play Shinji. And I was just like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I, um, St. Germain, you won't fight him by yourself? Not just front of me. The friendship style, or it's just you know the acquaintance style, something I don't know, Chris. <laughs> Can I also say something? One more thing. One more thing. Why the fuck is everybody still standing there? Why is everybody with Amy here? Oh my god, Amy can't do everything by herself, which is Saint Germain. I mean, come on. I mean, yes, we know Hibiki is overpowered as fuck, because, I mean, ooh. Maybe he's waiting to save it at the last minute. He's currently blocked with his fucking flaming hat of bullshit. I mean, because he's an asshole. <laughs> it would have been better if he got cut off. <laughs> but okay. Let me see. Why does it look like? Oh, okay. Oh no. Okay, never mind. I was about to say it looked like a Pokemon, but no, no. Or maybe like from the butt down, guys. <laughs> what?
push it. Y'all screw it for now. Until, like, what, episode 12, 13? Until we find some bullshit thing. That god killer thing maybe might help. I don't know. See, this be like some type shit that Tessie Nomura would do for Kingdom Hearts, and then like we never know what it means until like Kingdom Hearts 4 or a fucking spin-off. Like, oh my god. I'm gonna fire it towards the moon now. See, yeah, exactly. If they didn't die, none of this would be happening now. Like I said, you took one of the best characters and killed him slash her, which was fucked up because she was literally the best damn character. I'm sorry. This is some bullshit. I mean, we only 13 minutes into this episode, but this is some bullshit. I'm sorry. Sorry, but that was funny. And Chris, that was definitely some shade. <laughs> Like that is actually going to hurt her.
go first. Of course. We got six minutes left. Oh, that's sad. They're playing the song. Oh, 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 I can't right now. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, my God. They're not playing this. Song. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Out of all the songs, they would play the song. Shut the fuck up. You are so annoying. Oh my god. See, I feel like the person who is voicing this character right now, who's talking to us, they okay, they they were right there, but they're probably gonna pop up in last in the la next season, right? Or no, I'm probably thinking too much into it, maybe. Are you fucking kidding this son of a bitch? This son of a bitch. Are you fucking kidding me? Thank you. That's all I need right now. <laughs> 
He wanted that to happen. He don't give an inch about T G either. Is he gonna do something bad to Hibiki though? I am guessing that's a yes. She didn't mean to do it, it just happened! Oh, wait. Wait. Stop. Stop. Stop, 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 stop it. No, 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 no. So you are telling me that the, the person that they have to go up against is Makiki Miki. We're doing this again. I mean, I'm okay with that. But still, at the same time, like, out of all characters, it had to be fucking Miki. Oh, my God. Are you... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to feel right now. And Katie's not going to be able to go. They're literally not going to make that girl go. I mean, she's going to be like, I want to go. And they're going to be like, no. <laughs> like, you are done for today. Like, sit your ass down and just watch. Like, everybody else is going to go. And they're all going to have to go against TVQ. Oh, my God. You know what this is like? Oh my god, I know this is another person. <laughs> this is another episode of five in person. Oh my god, okay. So big spoilers, even if you haven't played Vanilla or Royal. But when you get into Futaba's palace and the fact that you have to fight, it's not necessarily Futaba, but it's more of her mom instead, but Futaba, like, comes to help. It seems like it's that way in a way. I don't, I can't really tell, but it's just, like, you have to fight someone else, aka Adam, before you can get to Kibiki. I don't know, but I, I don't want them to fight her again. I mean, we, they did it in, like, what, season one, when she was, like, the way she was. And Are you fucking kidding me? Like, damn it, Kibiki. What the fuck? <laughs> like, honestly, Hibiki, oh my god, this girl puts herself in these dangerous situations. You know, the only one who can save her right now is Miku. Come on down, Miku! <laughs> Miku is the only one who can save her right now. Not Tsubasa, not Chris, not Shinobe, not Kitty, not even Maria. Miku, her fucking wife. <laughs> her wife is the only one. Who can save her right now? I'm sorry, because it's right there. You can tell it. I mean, come on. Why? Uh, and then the biggest thing is, why show Miku in this episode? Because I was, like, kind of thinking Miku wasn't going... The next time we weren't going to see her was until, like, the last episode of the season. But no, like, you show her, just, like, let her have, like, a little couple of seconds in the show. And then, like, go back to the main story of it. So, I don't think there's a reason why they showed her. But, I mean... If, if her girlfriend or her really, if her wife ain't saving her, then it's gonna be her other three girlfriends, with well, her other two girlfriends, possibly. I don't know. I mean, shit. <sighs> Just, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> but the fact is, like, this just tells you, like, Adam is the biggest douche of all douche. He literally says, come here, Tiki. And Tiki just gets fucking, like, demolished. Like, oh my god. He planned that. He used Tiki. He used all of these characters, freaking all four of these, like, mm, women. 
as fucking pun. This dick. Like, oh my god. I mean, Jesus Christ. Like, yeah, I really hate this douche. I I, I need him to go. He, he gotta go. He gotta go. So fucking bad. I mean, because, come on, like, the day, like I said, the day, like, Shinji... <laughs> <laughs> Shinji died slash like blew up uh, and then you know <laughs> Kide <laughs> when they died that was the best day of my life when that one dude from um, Fate Zero died that was another best day of my life even though that same day like my channel my old channel was <clears throat> because of YouTube fuck YouTube um, but yeah this dude needs to go because honestly I had a really good morning because one of my best girls finally came home in Idol Master. And now it's kind of fucked up because of Adam. And you know what will make this day better? If Adam finally fucking dies. I mean, honestly, he need to go. We got two episodes left. Honestly, I really don't know what could happen between 12 and 13. Obviously, Hibiki is going to be used in some way. I'm guessing in the opening, I have to look at it again before I watch episode 12. There's something that I like. I think... Hibiki is in the background of one of them. Like, not only when she's, like, her, her regular old self, I feel like there's one where she has, like, darker hair or something. I don't know. I got no fucking clue. Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 12. Okay, episode 12 and 3, 2, 1, go. Also, what I just said a couple minutes ago, forget that. I looked. That nothing happened? Mm -mm. So honestly, I really have no idea what the fuck could happen to Hibiki in this. Yeah, room by one girl. Mm, sad day. See, you know what? That's something I want to know. We really don't know. <laughs> we know, but at the same time, we don't. I don't want to say he became dead because, I mean, I don't think they would kill off the main character in this show. Um, there are other animes and book series that I have read that I have, but I, I don't think we'll do that with this. She's too important. Okay, then let the girls go inside and try to save her. It's finally happening. Oh my god.
You can't wait? Take out friend and just put wife. of my own. Oh my god. Like, yes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Even if they have, they probably don't care. Apparently so, and now she's just like fucking. I'm just gonna destroy everything. So then, hold on. How in the world is Miku gonna be the Trump card of this mission? Oh my god, I'm scared now. I mean, I thought I had a. <laughs> Feeling how this is gonna go. Not anymore. I mean, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking Miku going to get like, suited up. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Me and you finally go kick some ass, like some good ass, now where she's like under someone's control. No! <laughs> well, we got one more season to figure out if we can finally do something. Unless they want Miku to like hop inside of her mouth, and I, I don't know. I'm thinking of shit from Lollipop Chainsaw now. Are we serious? We're going now? Okay.
Oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, I can't with these two sometimes. It's too much. <sighs> Thank God she's okay. Ugh. I mean, guys, that's the president. You telling me nobody could have got him on call ASAP? Be like, hey, we're done. We're good. You ain't got to launch anything. Then what else can you do? I told you. I told you. I told you. Because she's the last one. And she's got to die. But this is kind of bittersweet. Because she's sacrificing herself. And I actually like her. And her friends are interesting. And you just kill all three of them. Oh my god, that is so fucking smart! Oh!
That was pretty, though. Nah. <laughs> At least we get the diving cover. I'm not sad. I'm happy. Because, oh my god, my girls don't live until the end of this episode. Oh my god. This motherfucker. So where the fuck did you go? You just, you just hid there until those three sacrificed themselves and then had your bullshit come in. Um, so I'm guessing that's going to happen in the final season. Whatever this current thing is, maybe, who knows? Hell, he could be lying about that bullshit, though. I mean, mm, 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 mm. I don't even know what to say about this, but, like, the fact that, though, like, oh my god, best girl. Thank God I am dead. Like, oh my God, you had me going for a couple of episodes thinking that this chick was dead. Thank God nobody spoiled me on this because, oh, I think if somebody did possibly spoil me on this, I would have been hella pissed. Like, oh God, that would have probably, like, pissed me the fuck off. I, I would have kept quiet about it, but then I would have waited until we got to this moment to say, oh, hey, by the way, I got spoiled about this moment. But, I don't know, like, there were parts and moments with myself that I was thinking of, like, well, maybe they're still alive, but at the same time, I got thinking, no, because they did, <laughs> like, oh my god, but of course, they had to do it to make it, like, to make Adam think that both of them were dead, and that St. Germain was the only one left, but I'm glad that the three of them were able to come together again as a group to have one final farewell with each other. It, it was sweet, it was bittersweet, it was something that I'm glad it happened because as someone who really enjoyed these three characters, each in their own individual way, it's a good farewell for them. But I mean, well, even Tiki made one little more appearance in this now. And of course, she's probably going to be in the last episode. Who knows what the fuck is going to happen in this last episode? I mean, Hibiki just punched the shit out of this thing. This curse is possibly going to fall upon Hibiki, which could possibly deal with whatever's going to happen in 13 going into the final season, because this is what I'm going to say. And I'm going to say it now. And I was originally going to wait until we were done with episode 13, but there are times with what the hell is that? Um, in each season, there's a moment or something that falls back onto a previous season. My bad. <laughs> As I was saying, there's always something that falls back onto a previous season. And I feel like whatever is going to happen in this, not last episode, but really in this final season, may have something to do with something in season one. I don't know. I mean, th this is just guesses. And I mean, a guess is a guess. And it, literally, I... I I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. I, I literally have no clue. I just feel like because they've done it for all four of these seasons right now, why don't you go ahead and do it for season five? Because something, whatever is going to happen in this last season, possibly is going to fall back from one of these seasons. And if, like, let's say after I'm done watching the show, I sit and I rewatch it again. And it'll be a lot easier to tell certain things. But like, oh, okay, so this makes sense on why this happened in this season and so on and so forth and stuff. And because, I mean... It, it would just make so much fucking sense. But yeah, I really like that ending. I just now, we either need to go ahead and kill Adam 
I let him rot in jail for the rest of it. Well, no, he's a fucking doll, so he can't fuck it. Just kill him. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. We are all in favor of killing this fuck boy. He need to go. <laughs> but go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for the final episode. All right, final episode in three, two, one, go. Finally, be reunited with your mom. See if you just would have killed her. None of this would have happened. Of course. Chris, please stop with your shade. <laughs> I love him. Stop.
Well, you know, it's currently loading, so you, you just gotta wait. It's not ready yet. <laughs> I mean, impatient motherfucker, aren't you? It did very little damage on it. Is he now berserker? Is that I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, this dude is ugly as fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Remember, he wasn't even human to begin with! <laughs> The gun. You still have the gun. <laughs> Damn it! You fuck. You fuck me. What the fuck is wrong with you? you fuck you. No. I really hate this. Please, for the love of God. Is she? They sing in the climax, so I'm gonna say, nope.
even if you cut him, you fucking regenerate something. Him and his bullshit? Oh, I can't. Bullshit power. That's bullshit power. That's bullshit. <laughs> This child is too fucking over. That's what we've learned. That's what I've learned for four fucking seasons. He is too fucking over. <laughs> I mean, oh my god. This child will fucking Jojo on this dude's ass, like, oh my god. Mm. No, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait to <laughs> say uh. And then let me guess, that is never coming back, not even in the final season. I mean, I would say give her alcohol, but she is a child, so, but you know, she older than. <laughs> Give her alcohol. She like what a thousand years old. Twenty thousand. Uh. 
I don't know. There's so many questions that we'll probably never find out until I watch this last season. Maybe. Possibly. Happy birthday! Damn, we're not even gonna, oh god, thinking about that, mm -hmm. well wait, oh but this is kind of sad though. Honestly, really, are you sure you're going to do all the cleaning? I mean, have you cleaned your room? Honestly, that looks really good. The fact that for you thoughts it went crazy over tomatoes that is on with crepes or literally anything sweet.
something's gonna happen between these two in this last season. I ain't got. I, I, I have no fucking clue what the hell it could be that I think at the end of the day. But this was such a good season. Oh my god, I wasn't imagining that all of this would have happened. I really don't know what else to say about it. It was just good. I just want to know what the hell is going to happen next. And even though I think there's a special for this season. And of course I'll be watching that. But I still want to know what the fuck is going to happen next. So I don't know. I mean I'm a little. Ugh. I don't know. I just liked it. It was good. I, I think it was a little bit better than the previous season. Honestly. Like, this was a bomb-ass season with some hateful characters, Adam. And I'm so fucking happy that he is finally, finally dead. I mean, that's it. We can just end the show. We don't need to continue. We're done. We don't need to watch the last season, but in a way, we do. Because we gotta know what the fuck is gonna happen next. I, but still, it's something. Something that whatever has happened from season one to now is going to come back in this last season. And then I'm gonna be like, oh, look. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I fucking told you. But honestly, I really don't know what it could be. Maybe something between he and Miku is gonna come. Literally anything could happen for this last season. I don't think they're gonna give us a... Oh, okay, never mind. And then I guess she has something inside of her because of it. But then what about Miku? Miku was there too, so Miku should have something instead of her. Hello? <laughs> about that moment <laughs> but you know what I kept saying in my mind I was like you know I bet you they're not gonna do anything for that they're never gonna explain what the fuck happened with that what the fuck it means right there oh my god you gotta be fucking kidding me oh my god <laughs> see how I say something from a previous season ends up showing up in the last season or going into a last season boom right there like <laughs> Oh my god! What is this? <laughs> what is this show now? I mean, I'm scared. Mm. I got no clue. I got nothing. Oh my god. I don't know what to think. I can't predict anything right now with this. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm just... Oh, God. I'm flabbergasted. I'm surprised as fuck. I'm shocked. I'm, like, everything in the entire alphabet right now. Like, oh, God. Are you just... Oh, my God. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And they wait until the last fucking episode of this season. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, can you imagine? Mm-mm. When did this season air? <laughs> God, when did this season air? Because we all know the last season came out with last year. Last year? Yeah, yeah, last year, I believe. Oh, God. I can't imagine y'all watching this episode and then just wondering when the hell the last season was coming out. Oh, my God. Between y'all and the people for a regular at Magic High School. Ooh. 
I am so sorry for you guys. Like, I, I can't imagine. Well, yes, I can. I can. Because, I mean, I've been there with some shows where it's like, hmm, here's an ending. And then you never get to see that second or third or whatever season again until about five, six, six years later. And you're just like, oh, my God. Finally. I, I mean, it's like, oh God, I, what, uh, not only I, I can compare it to Kingdom Hearts. It's like, um... The fourth season of Salem and Crystal, which they're putting in a fucking movie, which I didn't want. I wanted a freaking TV show because they did all the TV shows, but no. But, oh, God, like, hmm. Hmm. I would be, I would have been hella pissed if I saw this and just be like, damn, we might have to wait a really long time for the season. But the fact is, I think so many people have said that this season, the, the previous season three, this season and the next season were all, like, back to back and that all announced back to back so but whenever this aired you guys possibly didn't know when this last season was gonna come out and i mean oh god i'm sorry once again i am so sorry because I, I don't i don't know how i could how i would be or feel about that because typically with tv shows for me um well, no, it's not really me. I'll use what my mom does. Like, let's say you're watching a show like Supernatural or The Flash or Arrow or any type of show, Once Upon a Time, whatever. And you're you're still watching it. You've been watching it ever since the show has aired. And let's say the show gets fucked up. Like, you don't like the complications of it and everything. And you drop the show for some weird reason. And then, like, the day, you, you know, you still care about the show, but then finally it comes back and it's the final season. You're like, oh, shit, well, damn, this show needed the final season, like, years ago. But I'm not saying that, like, with some people possibly felt like that, but I think for how this just ended and wondering how in the world that little bit is going to fit in this final season, I mean, it's just mind-blown, and I, I don't know. <sighs> I, I'm scared. I felt like whatever this thing is that they both absorbed into themselves, it's going to be, like, fucking deadly. I don't think either of them are going to die, but, I mean, I don't know. Anything could happen to one of these two, or even both of them. They better not end this show on some bullshit ending, I swear to God. Don't do that. I mean... Don't hype me up for five fucking seasons and then we get to this last season and we get to that ending and I get a bullshit ending. I swear to God, if I don't get an ending that wraps it in a nice, neat little bow and just gives everybody a happy ending. Oh, God. I I'm scared. I'm really scared going into this last season. But, you know, hey, I still got to watch some specials. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards this <laughs> So book your access if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the magical squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for patreons and next thursday for everybody else for these specials and then officially after that the starts of the final season which honestly i have no fucking clue what the fuck could possibly happen I am scared. I, I have, like, so many different emotions inside of myself right now because who knows what the hell could happen. Y'all know what's going to happen. Me, I know nothing. And honestly, like, I don't like that feeling. I really don't. I mean, they're going to eventually tell Miku and Hibiki about this, right? And everyone else because, oh, my, there's so many unanswered questions in my brain. I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and play Persona 5 The Royal now. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye. All right, hold up. So a couple things I want to say about this before, you know, I end this video. Biggest thing is now when you're especially looking at this and seeing like Hee Hee and that all gold outfit. The sad thing is we're not going to be able to see that in the game because as of what this past weekend, the game is going to be ending service in like two months, I believe. And it, it's honestly really sad because, okay, this was my thing on it. Like, I was playing it constantly. I played it up until a little while ago because I was like, let me go ahead and pause on this game and let me finish the series and then let me come back to it. Because typically, sometimes with most shows um, that eventually have like 
a game, I end up either continuing it or I finish the series and then I come back to it because just in case like something um, of future seasons, I don't want to get spoiled on it. But I mean, I, I woke up like at seven o'clock in the morning yesterday, I believe it was either yesterday or Friday. I think it was Saturday. Um, woke up because I'm still looking for a freaking Nintendo switch. I've been looked ever since I got my money and I had like this weird feeling just to go on Twitter and I go on Twitter and then it's just right there. And I'm like, are you serious? I'm like, this game just came out. But a couple of months ago, I was like, Crunchyroll was over here hyping it up. Um, and a couple of other, you know, Bushimo related games like Revy Starlight, maybe Bandity, um, and a couple of others were also hyping it up as well, especially really Revy Star uh, Starlight, because the fact is, I don't know how like Revy Starlight is doing in their game, but I haven't played that game, I think in a year. And I feel like that game should have been terminated. I, I get the fact because I'm also a part of that fandom, but because I feel like maybe the Sinfo Gear fandom is a lot bigger than, you know, Revue Starlight. Like, I get the reason, but this is the only thing that we have for something to latch on a little more information or new things for Sinfo Gear. But I think, like, once after that Attack on Titan, that very first event came and how OP the, um, the cards were and how you could just possibly get through it that quickly. I think everybody just like dipped after that. I mean, it's kind of the same thing that I would say with Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. There's so many people, I haven't played that game in fucking years as well, but there's so many people that like after it got so complicated with the fact is that if you wanted to see something for like the main story aspect to know whatever the hell is going to happen in Kingdom Hearts, like for a spinoff, Five, whatever the freak Tetsuya Nomura is currently planning right now because as of 2020 we still have no fucking clue and he decided to add a freaking white coat why add a white coat out of all the things and it means something with Marluxia I'm sorry I just had to say that because that ish has been on my mind for the past few freaking days but I mean it, it's sad to know that this game is going to be like ending its service in a couple of months because it's just like it just started, but I mean, I get it. I've seen it with other games before, especially like ones that are in Japan, like the Pretty Cure game, because that recently ended its service. Um, a couple of dating sims that I've played in the past, but it's just like, damn, I really thought that this would have gotten maybe a year or two to celebrate its anniversary because, I mean, the game in Japan is like three years ahead of us, so... They're on, like, what, their fourth anniversary? So now the only way that you can get it is by playing the Japanese version of it, which is... Uh, come here, Cody. Um, it's a blessing and a curse at the same time because of the fact is it's not going to all be translated. It'll be fan-translated, and it'll possibly be, be on Tumblr, maybe even Twitter, but, like, still, it's so... It's really fucked up because I was really excited to play this and because I play way too many games on my phone and I was like, well, yeah, let me like take a break from it and then come back to it after I'm done with this damn series. It's just like, well, damn. Now I kind of wish I got that Subasa Levi card, but no, y'all gave me that freaking <laughs> the Aaron Hibiki card, but I mean, I can't say. I mean, honestly, they gave me some really good cards. They gave me that uh, Kitty, like, three like I think it was four or five star kitty that I got it was the Alice one that that was like the best freaking pretty like pretty car that I ever got for her the last birthday we did that we just celebrated was kitty's birthday and so I mean I was thinking that we were going to be able to celebrate all these girls birthday but I mean they were just like nope we just dipping I mean, we're not even going to be able to celebrate Kibiki's birthday in this game which it's sad and I, I mean I think they like it, it makes you wonder and I may end up starting to play the JP version I'm not really sure because I've already like I've downloaded the game before because I have a Japanese iTunes account um it makes you wonder if they ever were going to do every single season in this series and nobody's gonna fucking know they're you know as of right now as someone who hasn't really played the JP game in a while I can't even tell you myself so I mean but yeah it's so fucked up because you look at some of these like beautiful outfits that they have for this series and then whatever the hell is going to happen in season five and you're just in the back of your mind you're sitting here and you're like damn that's not going to be in the game that's not going to be in the game for Ian that's not going to be in the game for Ian 
the bride, Hibiki and Miku, that's not going to be in the game for Ian. None of these outfits, none of the events that we, you know, the event card that had Hibiki and Miku fucking dancing, we're never getting that in Ian in any way. And it's just like, I mean, out of all the things that Bushimo had to do to, like, literally kill, it's that. And they couldn't choose, um that one card game series anime that I don't know the name of. You couldn't even choose Revue Starlight or the the freaking Case Close uh, Run Dash game that I stopped playing like a year ago because I got bored by it and I just downloaded it because I was like, oh, hey, I still love this show, but I hate this game and I'm like, fuck this game. And it's just sad. I mean, there are people still on Twitter as of now, like freaking adding these people and telling them to not cancel it, but I don't know. It's just, it feels like what's done is done. And they're just like, we're done and we're over it. And some people had said, well, this series has been out for such a long time. And the fact is that they just started this year to hype it up and like to put, um, to have fucking Crunchyroll have season one to three or yeah, season one to three. Yeah. Season one to three to be available on, um, YouTube, but then not to have this season or the last season. But doesn't Crunchyroll have the rights to the last season? So then the only season they don't have shown up is possibly this season because didn't it air on Crunchyroll? I don't know. I'd have to go back and check. But it's just, it's really fucked up. And I feel bad for like any person, including myself, who was like, damn, I'm playing this game because I really want to play this game and I want to know more about these girls and everything. And it's just like, it's like a punch to the fucking face. But that's really, I wanted to put my final thoughts on. But yeah, I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.